A Utah pediatrician losing the ability to talk when she suffered a traumatic brain injury several years ago, and she's not the only one. Every year, nearly 2 million Americans sustain some type of traumatic brain injury. In tonight's Check Your Health report, Mary Nichols introduces us to one survivor who won't let her injury keep her from reaching her goals. I was in my second year of my pediatric residency. Five years ago, Allison Delgado strapped on a helmet and hopped on her bicycle. About 20 miles into the ride, I was struck by a car who was making a left turn into a neighborhood. A medical helicopter was dispatched, and on the chopper, another resident from the hospital where she worked. It wasn't just any resident. It was Allison's husband. Once he started looking at me, seeing the outfit I was wearing, he realized it was me. <laughs> she suffered a severe bleed around her brain. Um, broken jaw, broken clavicle, several broken vertebrae, and contusions to my heart and lungs. And I wasn't really expected to make it through the night. She woke up from a coma five days later. Then, after weeks of grueling recovery, another huge setback. A brain aneurysm caused by her accident and treated by doctors burst and sent her back to the hospital. So I was back in the hospital again <laughs> and pretty much lost everything I'd gained in rehabilitation. She had to relearn how to walk, but says the most frustrating part was regaining her speech. Allison's husband would quiz her using children's flashcards to help her remember basic words. And, you know, I would think to myself, I've been to school for many years. <laughs> I'm a doctor and I can't remember the name for a bird. <laughs> she felt her speech problems would be the biggest obstacle in her goal of becoming a doctor. Um, so that was really the scariest thing for me was getting back to the point where I'd be able to work as a doctor again. <laughs> Despite the traumatic brain injury, taxing physical therapy and recovery, Dr. Allison Delgado passed the pediatric board exam. She now works as a pediatrician in Park City and says every day she's reminded of her traumatic brain injury. And, and even now today, the speech, it's still there. Most people can't tell, but it's still there. <laughs> Mary Nichols for Check Your Health. Well, tomorrow, Allison is speaking at the annual Brain Injury Alliance Conference. This is for traumatic brain injury survivors and their families. For more information about the conference, you can visit our website at KUTV.com.